Did you find some? Yeah. You get a close up of those. Here. Yeah, these are beautiful. Those are beautiful. They those will work great. But there's those bead kind. Oh, these are fun. Maybe this those is the fun. next project. Yeah. I really like these. They're fun. Those are pretty. Yeah. I like those. These are in, kind of in bunches, but that's all right. Do you have wire cutters? Yep. Hi everybody, so we are here to make these little summertime tulip wreaths. We went to the mm -hmm. store and we found these relatively inexpensive wreaths and then we found these pink tulips that we're gonna use. These are artificial tulips. They don't have really anything fancy to them. They don't have wax or anything, but. Well, the advantage is they come in a cluster so you get more flowers for your money. So we're gonna yeah. get some wire cutters and cut bunches of them all. Yeah, and this is a fun project to do to add a little femininity to your house. Uh, here in my house, we're gonna just put them in the entrance when mm -hmm. you first walk in, and it's just a new, updated, fun, quick project that anyone can do if you have a hot glue gun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have to make these from scratch. Not sure right, we could. That. Maybe that could be something we challenge ourselves I to think, learn. I think if I you don't make these, you'd have to soak these got branches in water so they'd be flexible or maybe do it when they're green I don't know all we have for tools are wire cutters uh, we have scissors just in case we have tons of hot glue and we have hot glue guns and that's all we have first thing we're gonna do is cut off flowers so kind of liberate them from there yeah okay so okay so, so three on each right yeah okay uh, you actually saw these in a, in a video I did not I did see this in a video and I thought it was so beautiful. We are changing the way we do it just slightly because we didn't have the exact same materials that I saw in the video that I saw. But we were thinking maybe three to four. Mm -hmm. uh, it depends. If you get a bigger wreath, you want, you want maybe a few more. But we don't want too fat of clusters. Here is to lay them somewhat flat like this. So you can kind of nestle the, if you can see, I don't know if you can see the camera very well. You can definitely hear my daughter singing. <laughs> we could uh, secure it with wire, but I don't think we need to. Do you? Or just salt. No, in addition to. In addition, you I don't could. Think we need to. I don't think we need to. If you had a large wreath, you might want to. The key here is to go in the same direction. Yes, yeah, so you don't. Otherwise, it'll look like. If you start doing messy. this, it'll look messy. So you've got to kind of have them pointed in the same. It's really easy to do. It just it's really it's really easy to do. It just takes time. I don't like about these is yeah. how shiny they are. They look really, really fake. Look, you did it! Yeah, you did. They look really, really shiny and really, really fake, especially in the sun. Wait, we can do that on me. Oh, we'll have to review it afterwards and see if it's worth it because these are kind of neat. Yeah. This one, I love this one, Carol. I, I love this flower. It's your red flower. Do you want to put it in your room? You want to keep one? 
So even though we're threading these in, we're more seeing what they will look like. We haven't glued them. Right. They will be glued, each one, but we, we don't want to put the glue on and then put it in and think, oh, I don't like the way this it. is. Right. right. Take it out. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. The only problem with um, using hot glue, if you live somewhere that's and really I hot, that won't work. You have beautiful. to do twine. Mommy, look at it this melts. If all the flowers are going in the, the same, same direction, direction see, mine's not. you're not gonna you're not gonna run. You it, they, they are in the same direction even though you can't tell right now because they're not glued, but <laughs> I'm done. There's a bug. There's a bug in there. There's a bug. That is called. That's a real flower. Stink bugs. Uh, when you smush them, they release this inky, stinky stuff. So if we get that off, the road, the petals will always stink. Because fortunately, they're not very smart. So we don't want them to release a stink. No. Then these will always stink. Well, I don't know about these, but the ones in California, when they're going to release their stink, they stand on their heads. Oh, great. But he's not coming. Then you, need a, then you need something like that to show up. But then he's going to Where is it? He's inside here. Yeah, there we go. Take him outside. Yeah, there's a bug buried in there. Yeah, he's he like, I want to live in there. He's not invited. <laughs> stink bug free. One time my brother, we were so sick of stink bugs in California that he wrote a letter. This was during the Vietnam War. And he wrote a letter to the President of the United States, who happened to be Lyndon Baines Johnson at the time. And he said he had a great idea of how to end the war. <laughs> <laughs> and that was to use uh, stink bug bombs and bomb it all over oh the enemy, whoever they were. And, uh, and they would give up because it smells so bad. That's funny. Yeah, he did. He it wrote. does smell bad. And he wrote, and he got a letter back, obviously not. From the president himself, but they they thanked him and said they would consider it. Which means, that's really funny. Yeah, he was he was just a kid. He was about twelve. Oh, he was a kid. Okay. Oh yeah, he was a kid. Yeah, and someone said, in this day and age, you can women can be anything except feminine. I thought that well, was a really good comment. Uh, that's what we got to change then. You like follow any dream you want, except for don't be a homemaker. <laughs> that's not appropriate. A mother and family. Yeah, mother. Well, that well, has it's to okay be to be a mother, but like you need to go to work. <laughs> don't stay home. You're not making the best of yourself. I just uh, thought that was know, an interesting comment. Yeah, because then we complain about civilization and how, oh, well, we got all this crime, we got all these, this homelessness, we got all this stuff, but don't, don't anybody think about actually staying home because you're worth more than that. You're worth more than that, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's great. If you want to if you want to go out and work, great, go for it. But you should be able you should be able to be, able to be home. You should not be attacked. And not feel like I don't know, for me I just feel constantly isolated. When should I worked I never felt isolated because yeah. I had a lot more support around me. People that did what I did. I don't have as many people now that do what I do, so if they think that I'm sitting around all day. Well, and even though my kids are grown, I don't have the support either. But yeah. I've learned to just... Uh, well, because well, even women that are retired, or that women with their kids are grown, they're still wanting to they're be not in, Well, They're not in the same space as me. Yeah. Uh, I have to um, adapt, and I do. I'm not going to be like them, because I... Doesn't make me the happiest. Yeah, I just thought that was a great comment. Women can, in this day and age, women can be anything but this. Anything but feminine. So just don't do that's, that, and you're that, fine. That's the attack attack on womanhood.
I'm still kind of just that. debating whether or not we want to do these. What do you think? I am not sure. And my oh, and you, my theory is if you're not sure, don't until yeah. you're sure. Because I kind of like the way this is just simple. Hi. Welcome to Cherry's Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> we're here in Chicago and we're making today banoffee pie. Banoffee pie, I got this recipe online, but I first had it in England, in the UK. It's very popular over there. And it's banoffee is banana and toffee. Oh. And toffee and caramel here are roughly the same thing. Okay, so that, that's you know, easy to remember. It's easy to remember and it's very simple. I brought most of the ingredients here except for the bananas and the whipping cream. You can use graham crackers, which is typical, but I saw a variation on it recently, which sounds really yummy, which is these Biscoff cookies, mm. the kind that they sometimes give you on airplanes yeah. for a snack. Yeah, everybody always says the airline ones. Mm -hmm. You can make your own, but you don't have to. And I'm going to dump these in this bag. Now, you can use a food processor, but I wanted to do it so that it's something doable for people, whether you have a food processor or not, because you don't have to have one. You can get a good, at least a short workout, using a good old rolling pin to do it. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crush these, and I'm going to first take this butter, and you need melted butter for it. I'm going to take this and put this in the microwave and be melting this while I'm crushing the cookies. It looks like sand. <laughs> it's like sand. Okay, now this is interesting because this is dolce de leche. It is basically sweetened condensed milk that is cooked until it turns into caramel. Kind of looks like a pudding or like a Nutella kind of. Yeah, it's really thick. Yeah. You can make this yourself by getting sweet and condensed milk and you cook it in a water bath unopened for, you can look it up online for several hours, but you can buy it already made, so that's what I'm doing. So then you just take this, and I didn't get all these cookies quite as fine as I usually do, but oh well, it tastes the same. What do you need to make a whipping cream? For this pie, we're using two cups because it's got to cut through all that rich caramel, which not the whipped cream is rich, but it doesn't taste rich. 
<laughs> well, and I like, so key. far I like what you're doing because it's not a perfectionist kind of recipe. No, you you no, don't have to have that caramel part really perfect looking. You don't have to, bananas perfect looking. You don't have no. to have the crust perfect. It just if you, kind of is you, thrown together. If you did a, a great pattern with these bananas in concentric circles, that would be great, but nobody would see it. Right. So it's <laughs> just up to you. So, <laughs> Yay! Yay. Bananas are just in surprise. <laughs> <laughs> a little surprise.